Have you ever been in a situation or your manager or an exec that has spent ages updating this PowerPoint presentation that they show off every month only for the meeting to be pushed back and then new data is needed. So therefore it needs to be updated again or even have to spend all that time taking all those screenshots of reports that have been filtered in a particular way that you've got from Power BI. So what if I told you, you could do that with just a click of a button as simple as using the filter pane as you do in Power BI and do it directly within PowerPoint. Sounds too good to be true. Well, let me show you how you can do it. So what you can see here is I've got a PowerPoint presentation slide as an example of something that might need to be updated. And as you can see, it would probably take quite a bit of time to update all this information because depending on what the report looks like or the information that a report would have, you probably have to figure out what was the last month because we're looking at, in this case, December 2017. So if the last one was November, then you wanted to be able to kind of look at December 2016 against December 2017. So you want to go against previous year. How does that look for this month? And then how does that compare year to date? What's the difference amount? What's the percentage difference amount? And how does it compare against last month as well? So then you also want to say November 17. And this would still take a lot of time, even if you had the data ready available. But if we have a look at the Power BI dashboard, we can see that we've got the amounts here for year to date. Then to get the then December, we would have to then do this. And then that will give us the differences and everything. And so if I just pull this up and just make this a bit smaller so we can see it side by side. We can see there, 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 and then it's rounding up to 19%, rounded down to 16%. And then it's also telling us previous year, this is actually down by 2.5% on margin. So compared to last year, it's 16%. So this time last year, it's actually down 15.5 percentage points where it's actually down 16%. So this, if I was to change this to 2016, would change to 15.5. So let's just test that theory. There we go, 15.5. So we can see that it's picking up that information. What would have to happen is, because there's nothing telling you what that amount is, the person would have to keep clicking back and forth and getting that information. Now, you could create a table for someone where they could have all the information they need so they can just do that. And then they go into the report and then they update, da 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 da, da and they can then filter and then change it if they wanted to, say if it was say November, so we go here, November, let's move December, then this is doing year to date for November, and then this is doing actual November and then comparing, and then previous month will be then October. But again, that will take a lot of time. And all you want to be able to do is create what is the actual PowerPoint presentation in Power BI and then have the luxury of being able to import it. Now you might be thinking, oh, I'll just take a screenshot, it'd be fine. However, if you were to just take a screenshot and you're in the middle of a meeting and then they go, oh, I want to know how the South looked for this particular period that we're looking at. Whoever's doing the presentation won't be able to say on the fly what that looks like. They'll have to go away, get that information, filter on there, collect it all, either feed back to the person or have to do another meeting to be able to just go through it. Where if you just had it in PowerPoint or available in a Power BI dashboard and then you'd be able to get that information, then you can just click on South and then you can see it change. But you won't be using Power BI while you're going along, which is why you can do this all within PowerPoint. So as you can see here, this is our PowerPoint presentation that I was just talking about. And in the Power BI report, all I've done is remove all the information that's here and then just left with the background that is all you need because everything else is going to be dynamic. We want the color to change. We want the numbers to change and everything. If you were to just get a PowerPoint presentation or many, use the format that it's in, just remove the stuff that where the data or conditional formatting or anything like that that needs to change that just needs to be removed from the actual report and then this will give you the actual template that you want to use and then all you have to do is export this and how you want to export this is by going up to file and then going to export and then under here you want to do change file type and then you have all these different options along here now you might be thinking I want to go with a PNG or a JPEG. If you do that, the quality comes out really poorly. The thing that you want to actually select is an SVG. And how you do that is by clicking on other file types, do save as, 
And then under the save as type, you want to go all the way down here to scalable vector graphic format, which is SVG. And the reason why you want to be able to use SVG in this case, that it's something that can be scaled. Because as you see, when we load it in, it might be too big, it might be too small, and then you need to make it fit. Because you're using an SVG, it doesn't matter what size you export it at, it's always going to scale and look nice and crisp. And as we're just exporting just this one, you can export all, but we just want this one. So we just click on just this one, do OK. And then to import into your Power BI dashboard, all you have to do is click on the back of a canvas. So if you already have stuff already there, or if not, just make sure it's on the back. So you get this view where it says canvas settings, canvas background. This is the one you want. Click on browse, find your file. Once that loads in, you'll notice nothing shows because transparency, turn that down. Then it shows. And then under here, under image fit, do fit. That makes it bigger. And then you've got your thing ready to add in. So that's just add in a chart just so you can just see with it just looking like normal. And there you go. Simple as that. And that's how you just import a background. And this is the same if you want to do a different background theme. Say if you wanted to like create what your background is for your dashboards or your reports or you want to do an infographic. It's the same process. You could just use PowerPoint or Google Slides or anything. Just take that, put it in there, make it fit. Boom, you're done. There you go. You've got your layout. So if I just delete that one for now and then come back to the one I created, as you see, the background is there and it's all there. And then we've got all our little cards, which are all doing the same information that would have been manually done for the PowerPoint. Let's say you've now completed what your output you want for your PowerPoint presentation is. It looks like this. You're happy with it. You can then publish it. Then once it's published, all you need to do is depending on what you're doing here, I'm using the free available version. So all I'm going to do is just use the link so I can just take the link up here. But if you wanted to share within your business and you only wanted to limit who it is, you can share, you can set the manage permissions to who can view it and then you can provide them the link because once you have the link, you can then go into a new slide. You might already have it, but if you don't like me here, you would have a Power BI add-on here. So all you need to do is click on file, get add-ons, wait for that to load up, do Power BI and do search, click add, then click continue, log yourself in. And then once you're logged in, you'll see this information here. And then what you can do, you can go to a thing here, but because we took that URL, all you have to do is just paste it in here, do insert, close the filter pane, drop this down a bit. And now you have the same actual look. And as you can see here, the data are exactly the same and it's all within your PowerPoint presentation. All you have to do is every time you open it up, just log in. Once you're logged in, it will all load up again. And then, as I said, on the fly, say if we had an instance where we were doing November and that's the one that was suddenly changed. So spent all the time updating November, added in all the data, meeting gets pushed back and then they go, you know what? Don't need November. We just want to look at December now. And you're like, oh. Great. And have to do all that information again. And you don't because all you do is go over to here, click on December, and then you got December's data and everything moves and everything changes because it's all done with the filter. Now you can add filters at the top and it'll work exactly the same. But if you want to make it look nice and clean, just use the filter pane on the side. And the good thing with the filter pane on the side is you can keep adding as many different filters. And let's say you're just in the middle of your meeting, showing off what the stats look like. And then you get asked the question, well, what does that look like for the South region? Then you can just go in here because you can access all these different filters that you add in. And then we can have a look at South, close it down. And then we can see they're generally performing a lot better than overall of the business. Everything's in the green for that month hasn't performed as well compared to last month in the sales and number of orders. Year to date sales are up compared to last year and number of orders and ATV, but margin and profit is down. And by looks at it, 50% down and margin is 50% down. So actually they've been driving up sales. Sales are all doing good and everything and actually improving compared to what they were in December last year and also improving compared to how they were the previous month. So it looks like what they've been having issues is Profit and margin have been a problem all year and they've needed to make that change. And then you can see that's been happening. So it's probably why they're asking that question. So it's extremely useful to be able to suddenly have this. And the good thing is, it's not just this. We can import just the dashboard if we wanted to. So if we were just to clear this data, this is another thing. You can just clear it and just go back in. Now I'm going to go into here and then you can select which page you want. So obviously you can have more than one if you wanted to. You can have both. 
and then we could insert this dashboard and you can play around with all the filters that are on here as well so we can actually filter to here if we wanted to just look at december take off december we can then go if region if you wanted to and then look at south and we can see the performance of the different states in here which items so we can see that april was a big driver for a loss in profit and where the sales were happening had a lot of sales but the profit got driven down by that there's some areas that are still down on profit and some are up so you have all that functionality too and the great thing is you can just keep updating it with anything you want and just connect to any reports and then it just is all there on the fly for you to be able to use so my advice just have a play around with your powerpoint connecting it to some reports just to see how it looks when you're playing around with it and just get a feel for it and how to do the exporting adding in your own images as backgrounds just have a little play around and if you want to try and replicate what i've kind of done here i'm using what is the new card visual and I've done a video about how to do KPI cards here. And also if you want to know how I made this dashboard, you can check out that here as well. And as always, until next time.